Hey everyone, this time we have a request from Sabi Oif, who is a great VR artist. I'll link some of their work in the description so you can check it out. Uh, they requested a tutorial on how to control what avatars people can spawn into, and uh, various sort of avatar-related matters within a world that you can control. So I thought I'd do a whole tutorial on it. This will be part of the permissions series, so take a look at the other videos in the permission series if you'd like more information on permission-related matters. I will put a link to those in the description as well. Let's hop into Smooth POV and get started. So in Smooth POV, I'm going to equip a dev tooltip. I'm going to open a root inspector. And we're going to double click on this controllers slot here. Now controllers contains the locomotion modules, but on the root here, controllers also has these two components, simple user spawn and common avatar builder. Common avatar builder has a bunch of checkboxes. Don't worry about them too much, but uh, if you take a look at this load cloud avatars checkbox if i uncheck that one let me just bring that closer you can see you can see it here are load cloud avatars if you uncheck that then cloud avatars will not be loaded when someone loads into the world they'll start as the headset and hands avatar and that means that if you have a, a busy world or an event coming up you might want to uncheck that and then people will come in and they won't load their models or their um, custom avatars in any way by default, this is checked. Now, it won't stop them from switching later into an avatar that they do own from their inventory. That's controlled by another option in the permission system. I will show you that shortly, but we're going to finish going over this list first. Beneath that, there is the custom avatar templates list, and you can add items to it by just hitting add. So here I've added two. We're just going to need one for now, but I'll leave the second one there just so we can play with it later. So in the custom avatars list, you'll see when you add an item, you get the number right here. So zero, one, computer started zero. Um, it's just something you have to get used to. You'll see here there are a number of properties. We're going to go over them in turn. Template root is the avatar root that you want to put people into. So if I go ahead and spawn out some avatars for the rest of the video, so we're going to go to Neos Essentials Avatars. Here's Ybot. I think Ybot. No, that's Xbot. Here's the male uh, Neos default avatar and the female one. These were all our avatars and we can use them in that template route. So here I'm going to inspect the avatar's head, push the up button, and then we're going to take body mail ready to FBX and we're going to drop that into the template route and you'll see that's taken. And now uh, for anyone, because that's the next thing, only for all, for anyone who loads in, they will load as this avatar body mail ready to. So they will always be in that avatar when they load in. This checkbox here will also block the cloud avatar. If this is unchecked, then I think it will overwrite it with their cloud avatar or something like that. Try it out. Beneath that, you'll see we've got another option here. So we're going to set the female one up for that one. And then we'll close that out. And now you'll see we have two set up. And this is where the weight comes into it. So the weight is like a chance that um, it's like spreading them out. So here, there's a one-to-one -one weight for both of these templates. If you lower the ones, I think it does it sort of based on um, chance. So if this is 0 0.5, it'll mean that um, you're half as likely to be in the first one and doubly as likely to be in the second one. Try messing around with those. I haven't actually had time myself to play around with them, but uh, have a look at them. Uh, and then max users is how many users can be that avatar. So if you wanted to, if you had like a sort of narrative experience, you could set it up so that people spawning in were, you know, only one person could be this avatar and only one person could be this avatar. And then that way you could have, you know, only one person could be that certain role or something. We'll undo those, uh, undo set field to one and undo set field to one. There we go. The other property here, only for role, um, anyone means it will affect anyone. You can scroll that to host only, and that'll only affect the host, or guest only, which is basically anyone that is not the host. There isn't a full list here, so it'll just roll back around to anyone, but this means that you can basically do a, anyone, the host only, the guest only. You can't do individual permission roles, but you can tweak that in a minute. So those are those options, play around with them. I'm sorry I wasn't sure about the weight. Um, I always get confused about how to explain that. I'll uh, try better next time there's a weight field because lots of components have the weight field. For now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this one here. And then I'm going to respawn because I think that will force me into the avatar. Yep, so because I respawned and that was set up, I am now, um, I think I'm this one, I can just 
off the camera to third person. Yep, I'm that one. And I, I, um, I can now that I've spawned, I can go to another avatar and load into it. So now I'm that Y bot. Now I'm a moth. But by default, I'm going to spawn into uh, the avatar that was set up in the avatar builder. Let me just hop back to my avatar for a second. There it is. So that's that one. Um, with that all set up, you can also prevent people from swapping into various avatars by going into the roles folder. Now within the roles folder, let's go to spectator permissions. And inside spectator permissions, you're looking for, where is it? You're looking for, here it is. In the world permissions node here, you're looking for allow swapping avatars. If you uncheck this, they'll no longer be able to swap avatars. So combining the controllers here with this custom avatar template and the roles for spectator here with allow swapping avatars unchecked, it'll mean that uh, people are forced to re remain as the avatar that you specify. You can also set this particular setting, world permissions, up for additional user groups. So if we go up here to say, I think guest will have it. No, guest won't. Non-builder will have it though. So under non-builder, we're looking for world permissions again. You'll see under world permissions, again, uh, allow swapping avatars. So here you can say, Anyone who's not a builder cannot swap an avatar. Anyone who's a spectator cannot swap an avatar. And then what will happen is when anyone spawns in, they'll get put into this avatar. And then if you give them the permission group that you want, so if you give them builder or higher, then they can change their avatar. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and set this up how I want to set this up for a tutorial world, which is basically unchecking this for non-builder and making sure it's unchecked for the uh, spectator as well, allow swapping avatars unchecked. Going back to controllers, making sure that this is set, so body mail on for anyone, and we're done. So now anyone that spawns into this world, if they aren't a builder, they'll be forced into this avatar until you set them to a builder, and then they can change their avatars. Hope this helps, Savvy. Let me know what you think. Um, if you find this helpful, drop some comments below. I will see you next time, people. Bye-bye.